there is a very strange physics phenomenon that happens with tiny particles like photons and electrons. At scales that small, that's where quantum physics comes in. Quantum physics tells us that particles have a property called spin that can be up and it can be down and it can even have values in between. In fact, particles are in a mix and blend a superposition of all those states at the same time until, until we look at them. And then when we do, they decide whether they will be spin up or spin down and then decide that randomly. Einstein and two other physicists had a big problem with this randomness. They connected to prove through a thought experiment that quantum physics is incomplete. Here is what the thought experiment was about. Imagine we create two particles out of energy. As we said, they will each be in their own superposition of spins until we look at them. Let's say we look at this one. And let's say we find it spin up. Here's the cool part. At that moment, this one over here needs to be spin down so that they cancel each other out and the total spin of the universe is conserved. Now, this thought experiment takes us one step further. It says, this needs to hold true regardless the distance. Let's play it out. You hold one particle here on Earth, and I'm going to take the other one to Mars. Whenever it is you decide to look at yours, let's say it randomly ends up being in a spin state up, then mine on Mars needs to be spin down. It's as if these particles that could be light years apart, it's as if they communicate instantaneously. And I can almost hear you think, did we just discover faster than light communication? No, we didn't. There is no communication between the particles. Instead, we say the particles are entangled. They are connected in such a way that the state of one influences that of the other instantaneously. Oof. Einstein didn't love the idea that distant particles influence each other instantaneously. He called it spooky action at a distance. And he believed there must be hidden factors at play right from the start. Troubled by the randomness, he said the famous, God doesn't play dice with the universe. Uh, well, actually, she does. <laughs> Fast forward 30 years later, in the 1960s, a theoretical physicist came up with a theorem with which one could test and prove whether quantum entanglement exists or whether Einstein had it right from the beginning and there were indeed hidden factors at play. In the three decades that followed, three other physicists tested that guy's theorem and proved that quantum entanglement exists. For their groundbreaking work, they were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2022. And finally, at CERN in Geneva, where I worked at for six years, scientists observed in 2023 quantum entanglement with the heaviest known elementary particle, the top quark. It's amazing. It's amazing how quantum physics phenomena, like quantum entanglement, manifest in our everyday lives. They show up as human entanglements, human connections, and they can have different shapes, different states. For example, have you ever had a connection with somebody that maybe is miles away? Maybe you even haven't talked to them in years. And when you meet, it's as if the time didn't pass by. The time was paused, and when you met them, it's Zoop. It's like you resumed where you were left off. Or 
Have you had a connection that after long and long conversations with somebody, you finally felt empowered to take that bold, that life-changing decision? Well, those, those are the deep, the profound connections that transcend distance and time. Have you also had these small interactions, maybe, maybe with the cashier at the store or with the pedestrian crossing the street? And that small chat, that nod, that smile left you feeling, ah, they made my day. Well, those, those are the micro connections. And though they may be short lived, they still can have an impact on us. There are the connections that used to be there and faded away. Those that were broken. And the connections that are yet to be created. It's incredible. We are all so intelligently interconnected. And these connections can have a different impact on ourselves, on others, and on the world itself. Us being indifferent can lead to disconnection. We throw our stress to somebody, we make them feel angry, anxious, sad. We hold the door open and share a warm hello. We help them feel seen and maybe even, who knows, maybe we help create a domino effect. Our spin states and the way they manifest can so intelligently impact those of others, people of TEDx. We have a great opportunity in our hands. Let's make our impact a positive one. Let's be acceptive of all our own spin states, the ups and the downs and the one and three eighths. Let's take a risk and approach with authenticity, sharing vulnerably, leaving ego at the door. Approach, approach with openness, approach with kindness, approach with empathy, assuming positive intentions. And then let's see what happens. It could be that the other is not equally open to aligning their spins to ours, and that's okay. That's okay because it could also be that they're happy to do so. And when that's the case, ah, that's when magic happens. A human entanglement is created. And however it came to be, whether it was a, we've just met in media, it clicked, or whether it took its own sweet time, whether a micro connection of, ah, she made my day, or a more profound one that made our life, the intelligence of that connection has the potential to become a spin uplifting friendship that defies distance and defies time, a breakthrough that can even lead to a Nobel Prize, or, or to ideas worth spreading with the cosmos itself. 